Well, it actually began in September of last year. Actually, it'll be a year this month. And um, I was at church getting ready to teach a prayer class and um, I just began to start hemorrhaging. So we went to the emergency room and was there actually all night long. They ran all sorts of tests on me. And when the doctor came in about five o'clock that morning, the look on her face, I knew something was wrong. We went the next day to the gynecologist and he did a biopsy on me. And his words were, oh, it doesn't look like it is. You know, it doesn't, I think you've got endometriosis. And so we'll get back to you on the biopsy. The following Wednesday night, I was preparing for class again to teach. And I get this phone call about six o'clock. And uh, he said, this is the doctor. And he said, I just want you to know your biopsy report came back. And he said, it is cancer. She called me that after that Wednesday afternoon when she got the report from the doctor. It hit me and I'm like, no, no, wait a minute. That's not the report we're supposed to get. And some of my staff was still in the office. So I called them in and I said, I need you guys to pray over me. We need to speak the word because this is what my doctor just told me. And in that conversation with my doctor, he had said, I have a spot open. You need a complete hysterectomy. So I went ahead and went into the hospital and um, had the, the surgery done and he took out 16 lymph notes and uh, said that he felt like he got it all. I was very weak, I could hardly walk. I couldn't make it upstairs to our bedroom. So I stayed downstairs in my recliner right in front of the TV. And um, I told my husband, I want a CD player right beside me. I want the word, I want to listen to the word. Glorious uh, healing school, um, Brother Copeland teaching on healing. And there was a CD that just ministered to me so much. It was Lynn Minx singing and Brother Copeland and Gloria reading scripture in between each worship course. I played that probably five to six times a day. I, I told my family, I, I said, about wore out the CD. I did, I have to get another one actually. I told my family, do not come in here. You will not cry. We are not crying over this. There's not going to be any emotion. I am standing on the Word of God. I need your faith. And if you can't, you cannot come over to the house. So I had the TV on with uh, Brother Copeland's program on there. And I put in glorious CDs, uh, I DVD players, and I just played the Word nonstop. So we went back to do a follow-up a week and a half later, and the doctor said, well, the reports come in, and three of the lymph notes have come back positive. And I got kind of mad, and I thought, no, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight this thing. And he said, I want you to do chemo for six to eight weeks and radiation for six to eight weeks. I've already set up your appointment, and I want you to go. We get in the car, and I said, I'm not doing it. I just knew in my spirit I was not to do it. BVOVN was on 24-7, the CDs were going 24-7, and, you know, I saw that word going into her and building her up uh, in strengthening her faith, so when that report came, we were ready for it. God spoke to my heart to make a list of healing scriptures. So he typed me up a whole list of healing scriptures. Every day I spoke those over my over myself. I would declare those and say, okay, this is my medicine. I'm taking my medicine today. And Lord, in your word is life. And that life is living inside of me as I speak it over me. When we went back to him, his first words were, well, I notice here you didn't go yeah. to the oncologist. And, and I, I think he said, are you going to Are or you going like to go? And I said, no, we have chosen, I've chosen to get healthy. And he looks at us and he says, well, that's really probably the best thing to do. The surgeon wanted me to ever three to six months do follow up. So he did another CAT scan on me. And he said, I just want to make sure. And I said, hey, everything's going to be fine. It's, I know I'm fine. I know I'm healed. And he says, well, in your lungs, in your chest, no, we didn't find anything. So he said, but we did find a lymph node that has grown and enlarged. And I thought, you lying devil. I said, did you see any tumors? Well, no. I go, did you see any lesions? No. Uh, so what makes you think the cancer's coming? Well, one lymph node has increased nine millimeters. Uh, and I'm thinking, well, that's not even a quarter of an inch, and it's only one lymph node. And so immediately we contacted her naturopathic doctor, and he said, send me the, the biopsy, send me the pathology, send me the CAT scan, let me see it all. So we sent it to him, and, and he said, they took 16 lymph nodes out of your system. 
your lymphatic system is all jacked up. He said, why they would tell you you have cancer? He says, what I'm reading on the, on the CT scan and on the, the lab work, he says, I don't see anything. And looking at your blood, he says, life is in the blood. And I'm like, yep, that's what the scripture says. And he says, your blood is healthy. Her blood is healthy. He says, this is just a minor little thing. We can take care of this. In fact, uh, our last visit, he looked at the blood. He, he said, this is not the blood of a cancer patient. This blood is too healthy. And he said, I can tell you, staking my license on it, that you don't have any cancer in your body because your blood is too healthy. As long as I am healthy and take care of this body that God has blessed me with, then I can speak the word with long life will he satisfy me and show me my, his salvation. But I can't speak the word and it work if I'm not doing anything to make it happen.